Okay, so today's 10 minute webinar is going to be on something that's really cool. It's going to help you organize meetings with multiple people. I use it and I think it's been a huge time saver for us in our organization trying to say, okay, who's available when? Nice part is it's from Microsoft and then the even better part, it's free. So let's show you how to use Find Time. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually install it. So what you're gonna do is when you're in Outlook, you have this get add in button right here. So you're gonna click on that and you're gonna type in find time. When you do that, you can select it, hit the add button, just like that, it's added. You're underway, you're ready to go. Now, how do you use it? Well, first thing you do is start by drafting a new email message. So what you're gonna do is put an email message in there and you have to start putting in people that you want to attend the meeting. So you can put people that are inside your office, but then you can also add people who are outside your office. Okay, now what you do is you hit this button right here that says new poll meeting. When you do that, it's gonna do a couple cool things. First off, it's going to look at not only your calendar, it's also gonna look at the calendars of the people who are inside your organization. So as you can see right here, it shows a bunch of green people at the top. You see how it split the time up? It automatically saw a bunch of times where everybody who's in our organization are free on this date and it put those at the top. And then the other ones are when various people aren't available. You can also change how long you want the meeting for. Let's say you want the meeting for an hour and a half. Well, look what it did. It automatically shrunk it down to say only the times that are all, all four of us are available at the top and then the rest of the times are at the bottom. Now, let's change this down to a one hour meeting, which is gonna be typical. Okay, now the how you use this is you basically just start selecting times for the meeting. We'll select some that people aren't available as well, right? And so now what they're going to be part of the poll, but you can also change the days. You can have multiple days. So you go into the, say the next day, I'm like, okay, well maybe we'll put in options for these times as well. Right? So now what we've done is we've selected how long we want the meeting, which times and days work best for us and what we think will work for everybody else. And now we're going to hit next. And now we have some options to choose from, right? So, up top here, we can say we want to be notified when there's updates. We want to schedule when all the attendees reach a consensus. It's a really cool feature. Automatically, if everybody says yes for a time, it's going to, it's going to automatically set that meeting. You don't have to do anything else at that point. I think that's a huge feature. It's going to hold the meetings in the calendar. I'm going to show you what that looks like. It's going to lock the poll for attendees, email notifications on the find time, and then we're going to require the attendees to verify who they are. Right? So now we have our list of times. If we want to make any changes, we can delete them here. But what we're going to do now is add it to the email message. All right, here it is. We clicked add. It automatically added in here. Now what we can do is put in a message. Okay, luckily there is spell check built in to Office, otherwise I would be a disaster. Now, what they can do is highlight the options. And one of the things that I like to do is I like to just run my cursor in here and highlight this. Because I think this is the one thing the product could do better is having this option a little more obvious. I think it should be a button or something like that. But essentially, what's gonna happen is they're going to get this email and they're gonna click this option and it's gonna give up the times that are available for everybody to see. Let's show what that looks like. I'm going to just bring this up off my screen, bring it over here so you can see it. This is what the poll looks like. This is what people will see. They can choose yes, no. They can also select times that they prefer. And if you have multiple that people that prefer certain times, that's the one that will get scheduled automatically. So it'll actually show you this is how to select everything when they are. Really cool feature. Okay, let's go back. Now, the... Um, you can basically, uh, let's see, 
Okay, so the pull page now uh, is going to block off the calendar. I'm going to drag things off my screen for just a moment. Pull up that date in the calendar and show you what that looks like. So here is one of the days that we picked. Now look, it has these little hold buttons on here. So it's blocking off the times on your calendar so you don't accidentally double book something, which is so, so cool. It'll actually tell you, hey, listen, you, by the way, you have a poll out that's blocking off this time. Don't accidentally book something on there. Now, what do the emails look like that come in? Well, they're actually pretty cool. I'm going to show you a couple of them. This is the initial email that will go out. You'll get your first email when somebody puts in the poll and you can see right away the ones that are X, they can't make it. Gray means that that person hasn't filled it out yet. And so we have a match so far, one match, but we have somebody who hasn't filled it out yet. So this is the first type of email that you'll get. Next one you'll get, you possibly get when there's no times that match. You can see there's no times in here that match all of our calendars. However, look what you can do. You can still schedule that meeting. So you can say, okay, even though not everybody can make it on this time, we have a general quorum, let's schedule it out anyways for that time. So really cool. So you can still schedule that meeting out even if you don't have everybody with the time. But here's the one that's really cool. It automatically found one that everybody is available for. It automatically scheduled that calendar invite on everybody's calendar, set up the Teams link. So cool. Didn't have to do anything other than that poll. That's all I had to do. All of a sudden we had a meeting that everybody could attend. And what you get is this notification that says, hey, congratulations. You've reached a census. Everybody can meet on this date and this time. We've already scheduled the meeting. You're ready to go. That's it. That's all you had to do to schedule a meeting with multiple people across multiple organizations inside your company, outside your company. It is such a cool product. The bigger the group of people you're trying to schedule with, the better the product is. I love the fact that it's free. I do wish they had one little update, which was to make that meeting option button a little more intuitive. What I do when I send out the email is I say, hey, listen, make sure you click on the link that says view options. Other than that, I don't do anything else. I've had great success with this product. I hope you give it a try and I hope it's just as successful for you. Okay, and with that, we'll stick around in case there's any questions. It's a pretty straightforward product, but if you have any questions on it, uh, we'll be around here. I would say give it a try.